Yeah, welcome back to The Breakfast on PLUS TV Africa. We're now talking World Hearing Day. March 3rd every year is celebrated worldwide and marked as a day to provide enlightenment about hearing impairments, disabilities. And the theme for this year is screen, rehabilitate and communicate. And that's to address hearing loss and ear diseases across life course. Uh, so this occasion is to spread awareness about action that can be taken to protect the auditory nerves and uh, adopt preventive measures. And we've invited Dr. Olubi uh, to discuss this with us. Good morning, thanks for joining us. Yeah, thank you for inviting me. Okay, so the World Health Organization says by 2050, uh, nearly 2.5 million people worldwide will be living with some form of you know, hearing impairment. But I want to bring it home down to Nigeria. What's the statistics here in Nigeria? Uh, the statistics is that if we're not careful, we'll be having a quarter of everybody having hearing loss at the end. That's about 25% having the hearing loss by the year to 2050. Okay, that's, that's so scary. So we need to do a lot of protecting. Okay, so, so let's, let's talk a little bit more on that. When you say 25%, you know, um, what do you describe as hearing loss? You know, and um, what are we currently, how, how, how many of these cases do you have to deal with every day? Uh, you're a consultant, ENT, uh, ENT consultant rather at um, Lagos University Teaching Hospital. Um, what what is you know the uh, hearing loss is not being able to hear. Okay, and you, you and you say by twenty fifty we might have twenty five percent of Nigerians um, having hearing loss. Yeah, twenty five percent of Nigerians will be hearing having hearing loss in the future if we don't do the necessary things that we have to do. Okay, and hearing loss has something to do with. Are you saying something? No, please go ahead. Hearing loss. Okay, hearing loss has something to do with, it might be a mild hearing loss to a severe to profound hearing loss where people cannot hear whatever you say. Mm -hmm. Ordinary whispering and you can hear what they're saying is hearing loss. Inability for you to hear what people are saying, either clearly or, is, uh, or in the terms of the loudness is hearing loss. And it affects uh, communication so much that uh, uh, the patient will not be able to function very well. Okay. So, uh, Dr. Olubi, could you enlighten us on what are the possible factors that causes hearing loss? Because I've heard people talk about, you know, don't listen to loud music, or if you use the earpiece all the time. So help us demystify this really uh, from, you know, fact and myth. What yeah. causes hearing loss? Yeah, there's a lot of things that can actually cause hearing loss. Hearing loss can happen with a child being born with it. That's a congenital abnormality. It can be due to a lot of factors. Sickness in a pregnancy, uh, uh, drugs in pregnancy, exposure to radiation, all this can cause hearing loss uh, before a child is born. Then after the child is born, there are a lot of things that can cause diseases, drugs, exposure to noise, all this can actually, and aging in the elderly can cause hearing loss. All right, and then... So and a lot of uh, advocacy will have to be done on preventing all that. So what we are, what's got, you have to do a lot of testing, and the mm -hmm. testing will involve testing at new births. When, uh, when a, a child is born, ideally you're supposed to test the child for hearing loss, uh, immediately the child is born and subsequently preschool and pre-employment so that they can actually function very well at the end of the day. Um, is hearing loss treatable? Is it something that you know a person can get uh, therapy or treatment and uh, they will go back to you know full you know abilities to hear properly? With the advent of for technology Hardly is any hearing loss not treatable. 
except if it's completely about 95 percent are treatable it depends on early detection which is done by screening you need to screen uh, uh, as much le uh, different levels then once you get it hearing loss can be divided into two one is the conductive that means the pathway that the sound passes to the brain is blocked and the other one is the nerve that carries the sound to the brain is damaged the one that is conductive is just for you to remove the obstruction and the other one the nerve damage is the one that is called permanent because the the, the nerve and the neural tissues don't replace itself on time it takes a long time before they get back to normal so there's Definitely treatment for any form of hearing loss. Is treatment expensive here in Nigeria? Uh, if, we, if we're talking about frightening statistics as high as 25% of Nigerians are suffering hearing um, disabilities, hearing loss um, in a couple of years, um, how expensive is it to get treatment or therapy for hearing um, issues? Oh, before I go into your question, I would first of all tell you that... Uh, a person that has hearing disability to the severe range would definitely be depending on the government. And that is a huge loss. What we'll have to do is to be able to detect them on time and be able to correct that issue. One is the hearing aid and the cochlear implants are the final issue where the cochlear is damaged and you have to replace uh, by an implant. They're quite expensive. And it is different from my eye colleagues, who, where you have that, when you have somebody with uh, visual disability, you, you tend to see that the patient is taken away from the environment. There's no distraction. And when you have hearing disability, there's a lot of distraction and the patient or the a person cannot grow past the intelligence of a primary six people. So that is where, the, and you have to depend on other people to survive. So it's a huge amount. When you think about how much you take, you use, uh, to take care of that person and the person is not producing or contributing to the economy or bringing money in, that will create a lot of problem. Okay. I wanted to ask you about prevention. If it seems that 25% of us are almost doomed in a way to have hearing loss, is it possible to prevent this? And if it is, what are the ways or steps we can take? Prevention has something to do, like I said, it could be congenital. So one is doing a proper lantinator. The second one is preventing drugs in pregnancy uh, and exposure to radiation. The third one is when a patient is born, early treatment of any disease, prevent your screening and detection of this hearing loss. When you screen, you detect and you rehabilitate on time. That, then we'll get results so that the patients can communicate effectively. So it's screening, detection, and treatment. That is the main thing that we have to do. Okay. And the other one is the issue of noise. There's a lot of noise. I mean, policies will have to be enacted for noise pollution. We have bars, uh, vendors in the market. We have a lot of loudspeaker outside. The religious home blasting a lot of sound outside. The on that we have on cars, all these are causing noise pollution. And these are the things that can affect all of us as individuals. Mm. All right. Okay, Dr. Olibi, before I let you go, I wanted to quickly ask, how often should we go for screening, you know, to check the state of our ears? Okay. One is that the neonatal screening must be in, uh, I mean, the government should try as much as possible to put neonatal screening as a mandatory thing. Okay. Because the early detection of hearing loss will actually determine the treatment and how well the treatment will come out, the outcome of the treatment. So the neonatal uh, screening must be put as a matter of 
compulsory thing. Okay. Then the other thing is, while a child wants to get into school, the screening must be done. And every three years while they are in school, because without hearing properly, they can't absorb anything that the teacher is teaching them. Okay. So they have to. Then for the workers, especially those who work in factory or noisy environment, they must have it yearly. Okay. And as in combination with your uh, yearly uh, workup, health workup, you need to do a hearing screening so that once it's detected, you quickly rehabilitate the patient. All right, Dr. Olubi, thank you very much for coming on The Breakfast this morning. I, I did learn a lot, so I, I need to actually go check, check, check my ears. I remember mm. passing through the market the other day, just hearing the grinding machine. It felt like I had severe ear pain for almost 10, 20 minutes. Oh. So yes, we all do need to, to you know, take early detection and treatment very seriously. So thanks again, Dr. Olubi, for your time. Okay, thank you. Like oceans, you know, have, you know, a lot of uh, things that need to be fixed with regards to noise pollution. Uh, it's something that we, we barely get to talk about, but yes. it's, it's important that we get to talk about. And it's, it's actually very scary. Yes. If you're talking about 25% of Nigerians, one in every four uh, Nigerians, that, that's, that's frightening, actually. Indeed. It so is. we need to do better, you know, to prevent, um, of course, these things from happening. And of course, the new NATO um, checks that need to be done. The toddlers that need to be checked also, very important. Um, we hope that there's also um, some level of you know, government investment in um, um, health care you know, that can make it cheaper mm. to get therapy and get treatment for uh, those who have those issues. A friend of mine who just bought a hearing aid, actually how she got it, what, there was a GoFundMe set up for her. People had to contribute millions of naira to buy a hearing okay. aid. So let's get tested. Let's let's <laughs> let's you know get screened early enough, you know, to prevent such uh, you know severe cases right. of uh, hearing loss. Coming up next, uh, we're talking World uh, Wildlife Day, uh, and of course, uh, world leaders, including here in Nigeria, commit to preservation of wildlife and of course humanity. And that comes up next on our conversations here on the breakfast.